Hello, hello. How's everybody doing out there? YDBT Daily. That's right. YDBT Daily coming at you every Thursday, 8 p.m. Talking Shit Tuesdays, Tuesday. And we got Peasant Chat at Sunday, 8 p.m. I think we're going to keep it at 8 p.m. because I like being able to sleep in a little bit on Friday night and Saturday night. Today, what we're going to talk about is the ZR1 was officially announced by Chevy supposedly a twin turbo variant of the flat plane crank 5.5 liter z06 motor that is what supposedly chevy's going to end up putting in their zr1 and then maybe down the road a zora which are zora or a zero one zora or zora is going to integrate potentially the stingray battery and motor drive that supplements another 200 horsepower and Rumors are that the ZR1 is going to be 850 horsepower, and then we're going to have a potential 1,000 horsepower ZR1 Zora variant. It's going to be dumb. We could talk about those that subject matter. We can also talk about pictures circulating on Facebook, Instagram, and everywhere of a supposed 24 and up Shelby something with a stick. That's right. There are pictures circulating, and I'll, I put it up on Patreon. If you're a Patreon member... That is a nice perk. I have a discussion going about the ZR1 and I have a discussion going about the GT350 or GT500 or whatever they're going to come out with. We can talk about that. I can also give you Fairmont updates on the blow through carburetor stuff and an article of the 10 speed still being an issue and people still for whatever reason think that it is going to be tunable and awesome and all the problems are going to go away with that transmission when there is still litigation and there have been buybacks millions of dollars of buybacks where ford gives the customer money and says sorry this transmission sucks we'll talk about that and many more things but not before mr bill o'reilly says hello okay. we'll do it live okay well, no. we'll do it live Fuck it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Right. Fucking thing sucks. You know, it does suck. P-Mask, Nick James is looking for a new logo to showcase his P-Mask stuff. So if you're a logo maker, hit up Nick James and see if you can come up with a snazzy new logo for his product. Dina Hapformance.com, Dina Hapformance, selling tumblers. The Amory tumblers are flying off the shelves. Make a not one motherfucker shirt. We'll sell that too. D and a half performance and all of your parts. Parts from parts.com. Deckly coming. Rumble wheels coming. Other used shit coming. Parts.com. Calvin transmission. Loving his GT350. He said it's light years better than his Mach 1. And I said, I've been saying that since day one, bitch. Bellac. Bellac Industries. Bellac's the best wheels on the planet. If I had an R8, I'd buy Bellac's for it. MFP of Australia, MFP, made for performance. And Rami's Out on Toyota Solutions, the best late model, late model performance shop, whether it's Chevy or Ford, in the whole island of Barrico. Let's see how the people here will get after it. Travis, Maki Mock, Coyote Fury, Leon Phelps, Pop on Few, Monty 40 Bilovesh, Bryson Wood, JD Swag, Joe Swiss, Juice Did It, 2000 MCR, Clean 93 GT, New York Fox. Boyd got the D from Rob the Tomb Burglar. Dane Austin. <laughs> what a name. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Venom Racing through through Mike Nardi Mercado. Nardi Mercado is a menace. He is a fucking menace. He got motherfuckers to apologize to him. Relentless. Nardi, that's how I got into this industry. You might be actually um tuning soon. Starkey's wife's boyfriend says <laughs> dropping a like. <laughs> <laughs> JL ATX Coba through with through Mike Joseph <laughs> Joseph Jerry one of one RTR Alex Vallejo kill up Brennan Bell Grand, Macchi Grand Macchiato says what's up Alex Vallejo EPA in the house y'all still selling cookies I'm gonna send some cookies over to um Alec Bledsoe and maybe uh, uh, some of the guys that I've worked with um that have helped me out recently Granny Macchiato Victor Sardone Robo Style Valley 10 Speed Elva Galarga Phil Fez Pry Pyrogenesis, Ignacio, Nixon, Tarpia, Dixon, Madi, Louis, Matt Oliver, Smokin, Clint, Savar, Martiner, Gregory, Upfitch, Coca-Cola, Kami, Comment to the Fish, Slow 99, John Bailey, Chicha, Sikorsky, Tim, oh, Whipple, 5 oh. Let's go all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. d -Mass says, time for the P-Mass to get renamed. d -Mass, Sal Salvage, 427, dude, Wayno, Gerardo, Christian, Pegelos, Hoodie, Nardi, Izzy R, Dakota, Aid, Sam, 5-0, 5-way, Josh, Indie Boost, EPA, still, still slinging cookies. Thanks, Alex. Hey, EPA. 
I'm going to give it a free plug. Just let, just remind me before the show is over to showcase what you guys got going on because it's been a while and we need to get diabetes up in this bitch. I'm good because my diet is dialed in so I can have a cookie or two, but I won't because if I, I can't have one, I have to have like the whole fucking pack. So if you are a member of the Patreon page, I'm going to do that. Yes, I'm going to, I'm going to absolutely use this platform to try to get more money on the other platform. I have a discussion up. It says, welcome to my chat. If it's not tunable, would you still buy it? And it is pictures of a GT something, 350, 500. I want to say it's a 350 because I can't imagine Ford actually thinks that they're going to eventually offer a manual transmission on a GT500 that is not tunable. If this carries the same architecture as the 24 GT, fuck tuning. Tuning is not happening. So do you want a stick shift version of that or a DCT version of that? To me, this is probably a GT350, but I don't know. And I, I honestly don't know. But there it is. It actually shows in the press release a Shelby labeled shifter tiny looks like most of y'all dicks coming out of a pool and i don't know if this is going to be a good or bad thing the stick shift mustang gt is not tunable not fast no one cares about it no one cares about it. it's got the d4 what trans are they going to use a tremec 3160 that's good for ben calamer our tr 6060 if it's a or 6070 if it's a gt500 like a seven speed tremec billy badass shit who knows? And again, it's not tunable. So you are stuck with Whipple tuning. Oh, wow. That's going to be amazing. Who gives a fucking shit? If you have a Whipple tune on a manual car, it's going to run a da 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 1050. Good job. We got Bryson Witt in there. Phil, more pubes says, no, not tunable. Don't care. Phil says, if it's not tunable, it's a big no because I'm not a cuck. Wow. H.E. Bison, one of on RTR. Very active discussion. So if you are a member of the Patreon page, get in there. Talk some shit. I also put up a uh, ZR1. So this is they basically what they have going on with the ZR1 stuff. They basically have like a video of announcing it, but they don't actually have a um, they don't actually have like a video of what it looks like. And if you go to YouTube, type in ZR1. It's all over the place. The press releases are everywhere. Everyone's talking about it. And um, I'll play it for you. I'll play it for you guys here because um, this is what I saw. And you can only speculate based on what you saw that what they're going to do, what it's going to sound like, what it's going to look like. I got to admit, it gets you kind of excited. So the best thing I could do is put it here where you could see the silhouette. And that's probably the best um, indication of what it's going to look like. If you back it up a little bit, you can see the wing is a little more pronounced. See right there? You can see the wing is a little more pronounced. So I appreciate that they actually give you a, at least a silhouette of what it looks like. Yes, there's been test mules at the Nerdberg ring and a bunch of other cars running down there. Um, and a lot of people speculating as to what it is, but obviously we won't know until we get it. But does it make you, does it make you excited? Do you care? I care because now it puts people like Ford, cause I'm a fan of Ford products, but not untunable Ford products. I think it's absolutely nonsensical to buy something you cannot tune. Nonsensical, just dumb. And if you say, Ripple can tune it. Cool. Can I put a thousand CC injector in it? A return soft fuel system and E85 and adjust the shift points? No then I don't give two shits. Can I call Whipple and say, what's up, Whipple? Can I need? No, they're in the Carb EO sandbox. And there have been weird posts about tuners that all of a sudden can't race, can't make a car go fast, never heard of them tuning a car go fast, tell you with a straight fucking face, real tuners make Carb EO tunes. Oh, shit. Then I guess... Every tuner at all World Cup, 2K, FL, the reunion, uh, PDRA stuff, Ducks races, none of y'all are tuners apparently. Apparently, 
None of y'all know how to tune shit because you can't make an LU-47 pass carb EO testing. Get the fuck out of my face. Could you imagine trying to be relevant by sucking the cock of the cus of, of the uh, government? I'm government compliant, so I'm a better tuner than you are. No, you're a homo, number one. Number two, you've never been relevant in racing, so that's all you fall back on. And nobody goes to you for custom tuning. That's a big business. Everybody wants to customize their car. Everybody wants to make their car their own. And you can't do that with Carbio Geisha and falling on that Carbio hat. You're telling me that a Carbio tuner is a better tuner? Then a guy that can make a car go 390s or 40 or make a 6R80 live at 2300 horsepower? Shut the fuck up, you fucking nerd. Shut up, stupid. I love that argument. It's actually nonsense. So remember, guys, if you're at Ducks races and your car runs up 350 in the 8th, you know, whoever's tuning Stevie Jackson's car, or if you have a pro mod that lives in the 360 zone, you're not a real fucking tuner. You're just some guy pushing buttons on a laptop unbelievable logic by those guys out there now if it's a 350 this is going to be the problem is it better than the old 350 ben calmer bought a gt350 ben calmer instantly fell in love with it ben calmer also owns a mach 1 supercharged mach 1 ben calmer says this gt350 shits all over my Mach 1. And all he has is an E85 tune. That's it. Remember when the Mach 1 came out? And I said, this shit's whack. It's more expensive and slower and less desirable than a GT350. And most of you ball suckers from Ford were like, oh, Alex, you just, you don't understand. We're, they're still making cars. The Camaro's going away. The same argument they used for the 24 Mustang. If it is not a better product than the previous generation, it don't matter. So let's say this is a GT350. Is it better than the previous? Is it a cross plane crank? Is it a flat plane crank? Is it a five and a half liter? Does it rev to 9,000 RPMs? Is it tunable? If it's a GT500, is it quicker in the quarter mile than the outgoing model? Probably not because it's a stick and it's catered to the gayest owners of Fords on the planet, Shelby owners. I know, I own a Shelby. I'm not, I didn't say anything. <laughs> so, I'm interested to know what that is. If it's a 350 and it's worse than the, if it's a 350 and it's a five liter 350 with a cross plane crank, I wish I had the failure horns here. I do. Introducing the new GT350. Oh my god, tell me about the engine with a new 500 horsepower. Cross plane crank. MT82. Untunable architecture. Wow, no one gives a shit about that. So, whatever. So the ZR1 news at least made it, um, even though I don't think that's going to be, that's not going to be tunable for a while either, but I would rather, if I'm going to spend the money for a new Shelby and a ZR1, it is not even a competition. It is, if I'm in that market, which I'm not because I'm poor, actually I'm not poor, I just make really bad financial decisions. Um, I don't think a fucking Mustang is anywhere in my wheelhouse if something like a ZR1 is available. Okay, we'll get your comments, concerns. Again, if you want to join the conversation on Patreon, 15 bucks a month, you have access, direct access to me, direct messages to me. You can show me you know, your car and tell me what a, you know, how to build and all this stuff. Or you can uh, definitely get in touch with like-minded people on that chat. There's over 200 members, if I'm not mistaken. So get in there, have some fun with the people. Shout out to Detroit, finally getting decent enough weather to get out. Oh my God, Carbio Tuners, use pronouns. You are at, exactly, exactly like, like, uh, <laughs> cuck. Uh, what, what was that, the tube taker? Uh, all wheel drive, no, 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 he, come on, he don't know shit. All wheel drive, Mustang own, own the market. Um, they won't do that. If you see one of the posts, um, based on the, let me, let me go back to my, um, the Shelby GT. 
One of the one of the uh, pictures. Boy, this thing is slow. One of the pictures is of a set of wheels, and nothing tells me in this photo that it lends itself to being all wheel drive. Even though I, I probably don't know, but it doesn't lend itself to being all wheel drive. But that's something they'll never do, guys, because Ford's not cool like that, and and they don't have any balls, like zero balls. There, it's run by bean counters. The Jim Farley with a wig thinks for whatever reason he wants to configure it like Porsche does. Porsche with like 7,000 models. The issue with Ford is they're not Porsche. People want to buy a Porsche because it says Porsche, even if it's a Cayman or some basic bitch model. They go, ah, it's a Porsche. Nobody goes, I want a Mustang because it's a Mustang. Nobody goes, let me get the four-cylinder or the EcoBoost four-cylinder convertible because it's a Mustang. Maybe grandmothers do. But it doesn't have the allure Porsche does. So Jim Farley wants to make it like Porsche, meaning GT3, GT3 RS, GT2, 15,000 different variants of the 911 or whatever chassis. So they think that they're going to use that as a template. And all Chevy and Dodge has to do is make a better version overall of that submodel. And people will flock to it. Wait until the Charger has an inline twin turbo six tunable before the GT is tunable. Oh my lord. Right now, if I'm not mistaken, is the Hurricane inline six twin turbo Dodge motor tunable. And if that's the case, what tells you that the Charger, once it comes out, is not going to be tunable right off the rip. I don't know. A car that price range I could afford, I would look for something badass straight out of the box, and I'm not going to buy a $100,000 car to cut up and modify when I could get a base GT and make that fast. Ah, dude, people do weird shit. Thank you, Nick Rogers, for the money, and thank you, Nick Rogers, again, for the channel support. I like money. EPA says, Ford still can't hang a bumper on an S550, S650 without major gaps. They can't touch a Porsche. Stang would review the yellow Whipple 24, and for the first time ever, told the truth and wasn't impressed, good for him. Hey, hold on. Do I have a do I have applause? If that's the case, shout out to Stang Mode. If Stang Mode is coming around and at least giving you honest reviews and saying, I'm not that impressed, that at least tells me a couple of things. His credibility is more important than getting free products. I think Stang Mode has done the typical YouTuber thing where you say yes to everybody, you get the motor built, bada bing, bada boom. We don't fuck with him. We don't fuck with him. Lund Racing doesn't fuck with him. He's just too destructive and he's just like a tune shopper. So we're like, no, we're good. But he got in this car and he had the opportunity to say, oh my God, this is amazing. And he can get a free Whipple from Whipple. You and I both know Whipple will throw a blower at every fucking YouTuber. That's why I don't fuck with Whipple. Because I'm not that special. If you're giving it to Cletus, Stang Mode, Street Speed, It's Just a Six, you name your popular Mustang YouTuber. If they all get a free Whipple, how good is the product? If you're just giving it away, like candy, it's not that good. So I go... I appreciate if Stang Mode, shout out to you, if you actually gave an honest review of a 24 GT with a Whipple. It's not impressive. 700 rear wheel horsepower out of pump gas through cats. It's a time bomb. It's a dynamite stick with a fuse lit this long. Okay? And it's just eventually wap pull, wap pull, wap pull, wap pull, boom! See you later catalytic converters go away and then all of a sudden you're going to start seeing certain companies post about GESI cats where was the first time you guys heard the word GESI catalytic converters tell me where was it and how long ago did someone mention GESI catalytic converters what person or what company all of a sudden Rumors start to swirl about catalytic converters exploding on 24 GTs with a Whipple. And all of a sudden, people start going, Hey, these GSI cats are pretty fucking good. 6R RCSP. 
It says, best converter for an NA Gen 2 RCSB. Eventually going to go boost, but the 6 already feels lazy as it sits. Mostly street truck with a couple of drag strip passes a year. 3B, 3C, personally, a looser converter. The C stator, in my experience, is the best. W Stang Mode, absolutely. Win for Stang Mode. Shout out to you if you actually do that. Carb EO Tuners, sit down to P. I don't know any details about the C8ZR1, but I'm willing to bet four-digit horsepower numbers, if not 998, to fly under the radar. No, I don't think the ZR1 is going to have a thousand horse. The Zora might, meaning the ZR1 with a uh, hybrid motor in the front. BMW wasn't really Coyote's radar until they went all-wheel drive. That's called Stang Motors leaving YouTube. He's a preacher now. Get the fuck out of here. He ain't leaving YouTube. Well, there's more money in religion. That's for sure. There's way more fucking money in religion than YouTube. So that would make total fucking sense. Whipple's check to Stang Mode must have balanced. Nice. I like it. What's cracking? What's up, the plat? I hope the video finds you in... I hope this video finds you in a good spirit. Voice the Mustang community. <laughs> Voice of the Mustang community. Um, right. Like two years ago, we started saying, Lund and I started saying, GESI cats are badass. All of a sudden on Facebook, which is about two years behind, says, all oh, these are great. And Carbio tuners come out of the woodwork saying that if you can't tune Carbio, you're not a real tuner. Motherfucker, get a 6R80 in your shit and make it live at 2,000 horse. Then talk to motherfuckers. If not, lower your fucking voice. Oh, Alex, you don't do it. Cool, but I work for the company that does. So I'm one degree separated than more than uh, less than you are. Um, Bondo should make his own lid. Alex, did you use a phenolic spacer from the Australia years ago? I did not. Um, have you been to Imo, 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 Imo Cali? Imo Cali? Imo Cali? Dragway? And would you take a car there? I have not. And it sounds very ghetto or very um, hick-ish. So I probably would not. Difficult to make a thousand all motor because it has to run 91 unless it's a 300 horsepower electric motor. No, it's yeah, correct. The supercharged... I don't think I don't think anything can make a thousand horsepower under seven liters displacement on pump gas, mind you. Pass emissions and have a warranty. No way. Mike H says it's your boy, Mister Forty. What's up, Mister Forty? No taxes for preacher mode. Hey, he's not wrong. I'm doing Roush versus TVS. Roush TVS crank gear, o -O pump, o pump gears and crank sprocket right now, and I got a bad aftermarket. Crank sprocket sent to me. I had to see it to believe it. The blank fits like a glove, though. Get the fuck out of my life. Get the fuck out of my life with that fucking comment. How long before my SW cats melt with my Gen 3R? Probably the next Wapol. I bought a manual C7Z01 last week and it felt like I bought the last of the dying breed. I fear our hobby is done. A C7Z01 manual sounds like a bunch of fun. So let's look at this article real quick before I forget. I've gotten a lot of people that still, for whatever reason, think that there's a tune fix to all of your 10R80 problems. And this article was sent to me by a guy on Instagram. I'm going to give him a shout. Hold on, kids. Myron. Shout out to Myron uh, at uh, MadSkills with a Z407 on Instagram sent me this article from Gail Law Group. Four vehicles equipped with a 10-speed automatic transmission have faced widespread issues ranging from the harsh shifting and hesitation to complete transmission failure. Despite multiple lawsuits and recalls, the problem persists while complaints continue mounting regarding these transmissions and safety and performance. In 2023, Ford faced a new class action lawsuit alleging that the dangerous issues with multiple models including the F-150 Mustang Expedition and others using the 10R80 transmission. Plaintiffs assert that these vehicles can suddenly lose power, accelerate unpredictably, posing injury risk from collisions. Ford claims that adaptive learning in the transmission computer causes the shifting problems and that supposedly resolve over time. Bullshit! However, many owners report that recurring problems, even after the software updates, parts replacements, repeated repairs, under warranty, vehicle buybacks exceed $47 million. That means Ford bought back cars under the Lemon Law. Confirming the scope of this issue. If you own a Ford using the 10R80 10-speed transmission, it's important to understand your rights in 2024. With pending litigation and unresolved mechanical problems, solutions remain unclear for now. In this article, we'll examine the best and uh, the latest on the lawsuits, recalls, potential remedies, and what actions owners can take. I will put this on the chat. 
and link it because it is very good to read if you own a 10R80 and you want to say, hey, Lund, my transmission's doing something weird. Hey, Lund, what do you... What do you think about the 10R80? Hey, Lund, it's doing a weird thing in the morning when it's not up to temperature. Hey, Lund, I went to the track and it and it, it, it did the 1-2 shift at 6,500. The transmission is fucking trash. You understand? 47 million in buybacks. How can we, how can we divide that? So let's say the average cost of a vehicle, 47... One, two, three, one, two, three, divided by, let's say, what, $45,000? They bought a, th no way. Okay, 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 guys, help me with the math, because I'm I'm stupid. 1044 At the end of the day, that doesn't seem like a lot. Let me see, uh, uh, let, me, let me open the calculator app. Cal calculator, okay. And uh, <laughs> it said $47 million, so... Let's uh, do it together because I, I might be, I, I am stupid, but I want to make sure. So how would I do this math? So if it's supposedly 1,044, 1,044, and then you multiply by, let's say the average cost of a car is $40,000 uh, equals, yeah, $41,760,000. Okay, so I'm not that retarded. So they bought back 1,000 vehicles. Okay, I take it back. That's not a lot. <laughs> They make it sound like more because a thousand vehicles out of millions is like peanuts. But those are the cars they bought back, not the ones that have had issues. So the ones that have had issues are the ones that you're driving right now. Like right now you are driving that car and it goes, Lund, fix it. Tuner, fix it. It's an inherent issue with the transmission design. And then you guys got aftermarket shops that go, we got the sauce for this. Come to us. We know what we're doing. They put more clutches in the e-drum. They stack clutches all over everything. And then they put it out to the wild and say, Lund, tune it. It's built. It should, it should act exactly like it should act exactly like a race transmission with 10 gears. No, it shouldn't. The programming's fucked. The actual architecture is fucked. You didn't redesign the valve body. You didn't redesign the electronics. You didn't have anything to do with the logic. So the transmission being robust hardware-wise does not negate valve body design and tuning that is hard-coded that could be causing issues with the transmission. So please, 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 if you're going to go racing, stop considering the 10R80 as a race transmission. Hey Alex, I found three very loose valve cover bolts on my driver's side today after smelling oil burning at Watt. Stock Gen 3 car. Have you heard of anything like this being common or an easy fix? If your valve cover bolts are loose, you got other issues. Because was the car bought used? Did you buy it since new? Did you is it boosted? Like I, I don't I don't understand. If you bought it used, anything, anything can happen. My 10 already drives weird when it's not up to temperature. 47 million divided by 40K, average price of a car. Got it. Um, JMS says, glue maker would get it shifting right. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, shout out to you guys. You guys put me on to a guy that runs a blow-through carburetor business out of Florida called, I think, IRD Carburetors. IRD carburetors out of the Tampa area, IRD racing. Some of you guys put me on to him and I left him I left a, a, a inquiry on his website. I said, eh, like, like, boom, contact us, filled out the form. Dude called me within like 20 minutes, called me. Hey man, I want to talk about your setup. I'm like, oh, okay. Called. He said, what do you want to do? I said, this is what I want to do. And he's like, okay, this carburetor, this turbo, um, this fuel pump, these lines, this regulator. And I was like, where the fuck have you been all my life? He told me the regulator, the fuel pump, the carburetor, and it'll grow with my setup. Told me the, he told me the turbo size and AR. He was like, this wheel, this, this exhaust, this is. He goes, yeah, it should be like a seven something car. 1200, 1200 at the crank, 1000 at the wheel, 3200 pounds. Yeah, I don't see that being an issue. And I'm like, so, like, what's your background? And he's like, oh, I got a 3,000 horsepower Nova. 
I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, I got a 3,000 horsepower blow through Pro Charge Nova, big block. And I'm like, okay. And he put me onto his shit. And I'm like, I found the guy. I asked him what ignition stuff to run. He gave me pointers. He's like, dude, I could literally set you up with everything. And I'm like, thank you guys. Because you guys suggested that in the comment section. Um, the, 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 Any difference between J-Style sensor bung adapter and the regular one? Are you talking about Yamati? Are you talking about um, O2 adapters? Um, is Chevy having that many problems with their 10-speed? Maybe Ford could learn something from them. Um, 10R because Ford could make a CVT for the rear-wheel drive platforms. I have 10 already that smokes 7th that smokes on at 7th and setting up with clutches. Nardi Mercado, I don't know what he had a stroke in the middle of saying that. Um, thoughts on Cook's catback? It's fine. Uh, fucking catback questions. Thoughts on Cook catback? You know what? You know what? Classic Nige? <laughs> thoughts on Cook's catback? The best catback ever. I mean, Better than Corsa, Borla, Pipe Bombs, and Magnaflow. Way better. Really? Capbacks? Capbacks. You like how it sounds? Look up sound clips, buy the Capback. Power-wise, it doesn't make one motherfucking more horsepower. Now one motherfucker. <laughs> I love Dead Pena. Alex, you could convince Lund to make one roll race car just show up these clowns of coyotes. Hatch, where are we going to run that? Where? Tell me where we're going to run a roll racing class that has prep like 2K. Nowhere. There's a reason that at Texas 2K, usually the quickest roll racing cars show up at. Because they prep the whole fucking track. So those guys go, bro, we got the glue. So let's get after it. And then you go to like airport attack and your fucking car's off in the weeds. No. Roll cars are stupid. Sorry. Build a drag car. Blow through Carp Coyote coming soon for the Fairmont. That's what I'm hoping. Alex, what should a Whipple 3.0 with a 3.5 pulley on the 85 should, should do? I saw a guy that put down 780 wheels. Should it do higher? No. Why would it do higher? 5.0, why would it do higher? On a 3.5 pulley? How much boost is that? How much boost is that, 5 It sounds like 13 or 12. Why would a 12 PSI Coyote or 13 PSI Coyote make 800 to 850 rear wheel horsepower on the 85? Like on what planet have you seen that happen, 5-0? I don't know. You're, you, you're, you are sadly mistaken about boost and power numbers. If you think uh, a Coyote at 13 PSI can make 850 wheel seven something is about right especially through an auto it's not how you drive your car it's how you sit beside it in the pick don't forget to get into an o pipe not an x or h you're not wrong on his profile picture he just sits next to his car uh classic nice where did you go roll racing is for pole smokers so much torque it twisted the frame off the line <laughs> so i'm happy that i got in touch with that guy the guy seems to be on the level legit told me many things to do and i'm like bro i appreciate him very much five oh says how much boost answer the damn question how much boost is a three five upper pulley on a three oh whipple 13 maybe maybe did you find a buyer for the notch yes notch is going to be gone saturday garrett leach is coming down with him too garrett from second shift racing so gonna see sarah garrett leach he's gonna see the setup my shitty garages um I'm going to drain the coolant, uh, put new plugs in it, check the oil, make sure it's good, and get it on his trailer and get it the fuck out of my life. Give me 8000 bucks and start fucking around with the Fairmont. Uh, must have been a... <laughs> Stop it. Uh, draggy is the new racing method. Alfredo Diaz says, that's 200 k to build a crazy roll car. Why spend that much money on barely any races? Okay, so you you spend... The bat you spend $200,000 to build the baddest roll racing car you could make for a, a Mustang. Where can you race it? TX2K. What about FL2K? They don't prep the whole track. Not like TX2K does. Name another roll racing venue that takes place in a drag track that preps like TX2K. None. None. So why bother building that? To do what? Win one thing? 
when you can run Ducks races, FL, TX, local stuff, World Cup. Come on, stop it. That carb salesman is one additional person. Act, the carb salesman is one additional person that Alex likes. Roll racers moan when they fart, right? <laughs> Roll racers moan when they fart. Uh, Whipple 50 says 14 psi. I have it on my Whipple. No, it's not. Three five upper stock lower is 14 psi. Do you have bananas in your tailpipe? 14 PSI. <laughs> Shit. Um, 8,000 is a great deal for that car. Exactly. I'm not looking to make crazy money on it. I bought it for about five grand. I put about two grand into it. Put some wheels on it that I had from the Fairmont. Had my fun. 10.7. Put a nitrous kit on it. So the guy is getting a deal, but... It does have a head gasket issue that I don't want to delve into. And I know he's going to have to get some labor into it. If he fixes it and the nitrous kit works properly, he's got a nine-second stick shift car that would have cost him $25,000 to build. So I understand him taking the risk and going, fuck it, I'll just throw head gaskets in it and see what happens. But Alex convinced them to spend all their savings so I can be happy and call GTR nut huggers gay. My 3-2 pulley made 860 horsepower. You have bananas in your tailpipe. And your dyno's fucked up. Your dyno, your dyno. You're telling me a, a 3.5 made 800. Sounds like the dyno is lying to you, son. Sounds high. Alex, I don't know if you mentioned it, but the past, how did you meet Jake at Power by the Hour? Well, when I worked at Lund the first time, Travis, Lund Racing's satellite operation in Florida was located right in front of Power by the Hour. And when I, I didn't know what Power by the Hour was back in 2015, I had no idea. So I would come into work because I'm a worker B at 7.45 because my job, my hours were 8 to 4.30. So I'm at work at 7.45 and the guy that was training me wasn't there. And I'm like, hello? And then the next day, you know, he she shows up at 9.30, saunters in, doesn't even get to, I'm like, wait, we're supposed to be hammering out tunes. I, don't worry about it. I'm like, uh, yeah, fuck you. I worry about it. Then after a week or two of that, I went into Jake's office and I'm like, hey, I guess you guys know each other. I'm the new guy at Lund Racing. Can I wait here and bum off of your Wi-Fi so that I can get to work until homeboy decides to show up? Sure. So I was in his waiting room tuning when homeboy decided to show up an hour and a half late every fucking day. So I'm like tuning, tuning, or learning, tuning, or getting in the ticket system and understanding how it works and talking to the guys and all this stuff. And that's when me and Jake started talking. And he's like, this guy's different. This guy's a worker. And he said right off the bat, you're not going to you're not gonna last long here with that kind of an attitude. And I thought it was a negative. I said, what do you mean? He goes, you're a worker. You want to work. You're here early. That situation is fucked up. And I'm like, well, here we go. Uh, you can make 18 PSI with a 3.75 upper with destroyed cats of a tank full of nons. 14 PSI must have one inch primaries. Um, my 3.875 11 PSI shifting at 7,600. So that's three more PSI roughly. 860 on a PBD dyno. Alex, what would you say is the limitations of a 2.3 Roush blower on E85? I'd say about, I don't think you can make 900 wheel easily. You need to rag that fucking blower out to make 900 wheel on a 2.3 Roush. A 3.875 is 9 PSI. Exactly. A 3.875, and you said you went down two pulley sizes and it made five PSI more? Stop it. Alex, what pulley for my Gen 3 R should I get to make like 15 PSI? 79 upper? But remember, you have the twin 60 millimeter throttle body, so that might be a restriction. So if you get a twin 65 from Ford Racing, which I highly urge you to do, and... um. A 82 millimeter pulley is enough for 800. A 79 millimeter, so you're probably there. 79 millimeter or 75 millimeter is going to make a lot of power on your car. Um, wow, fuzzy math by Whipple 50 with that logic. When you pull it down, you gain only 60 horse. <laughs> okay, Alex, for all racing, 6 or 80 or 10 speed, sell the car. Speaking of which, speaking of which, so. I want to get you guys caught up on something that happened last week because I want to make sure I mention it because he's going to get all mad if I don't mention it. 
Uh, where is it? So remember last week when a guy said, hey, I have a Cobra Jet and... Yeah, new online build. Uh, uh, okay, it's over here. He said, I have a CJ Gen 1, and I'm going to race a Gen 1 18 manual, 18, 18 uh, manifold car. And I'm like, okay, what about it? And he's like, well, I just want to know. And I said, if you don't beat him with a CJ, hold on, I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta reconfigure all this. I said, if you don't beat him with a CJ, you should sell your fucking car. He's like, are you, are you serious? I go, yep. If you don't beat him with, if a CJ Gen 1 loses to a 18 manifold Gen 1, you should sell your fucking shit. So let me see if I 14 have... manual GT CJ. Okay, let me see. Uh, he, oh, geez, he, he played the whole fucking clip. So here we go. Okay, so let me put it up here because the, he'll be geeked out that I have it on the channel. So he raced him and he ended up being the other car, not the camera car. The other car is this CJ car that we tune at Lund, and I hate these 360 cameras because they're just the shittiest quality ever. I mean, I mean, you only beat them by one car, but you beat them, but you beat them. So good, you can drive. You beat him. The CJ is worth a car, apparently. So he, hopefully, he's happy that I showed that video. Uh, next, the tarp you get a CJ65. It it did good for me at 20 psi. We got to get that premium cut at second shift racing. Not me though. I don't know what he's saying. Just put a 69 millimeter pulley on a 23 TVS. I'm gonna go try to get it on a dyno at some point this year to see what it makes. Um, is he really on a PBD dyno? Then that would make total sense. Um, Sam 50 says I have a Gen 3R. Gotcha. Uh, hello, hello, says Adonis. Did you ever find out the name of the Lil John song Senior Loves? Fuck, no. God damn it. I totally forgot about that. Um, no, they, I stopped. They hit the, They both hit the limiter at the same time. They both hit the 4-5 shift and they both stopped. So what happened is the CJ was out by a car. The 18 manifold car couldn't keep up. And that was that. And I'm like, okay, cool. So he won, but by one car. So I'm like, hmm. Every time you race someone and they're oddly close you have to start wondering if your driving skills suck, if your clutch is shit, or they're running like an exotic fuel. Um, David Gonzalez says, Alex, which carb supercharger kit would you recommend for... <laughs> Look, I don't give a fuck. I am not going to change what I tell people to get because of some bullshit agency that makes up rules based on nonsensical science. I'm not going to say, well, the best carb kit is blah, blah, blah. I'm going to say, if you want to go fast, David, what kind of racing are you doing? And what are your goals for the car? That's what I will guide you towards. I'm not going to go, well, you know, the California Air whatever board requires you to shut the fuck up i am not doing that i don't care i don't care about carb stuff if we're in the racing realm i'm gonna guide you to the best performing thing possible not the legal one it's weird oh my god you answered this like a year later yamity so a lot of people and this is what i'll say because apparently you guys don't listen to this show and you're not on facebook or instagram when i talk to you guys about po 420 PO430 codes. As a tuner in the tuning system, I cannot tell you how to get rid of PO420, PO430 codes. Those are catalytic converter inefficiency codes for the 80th time. If you remove your catalytic converter and it flows too much air, the front and rear sensors are going to go, uh oh. Something's wrong with the catalytic converter in the middle. There is a pre-configured tolerance written in the tuning that I don't have access to that if this catalytic converter gets clogged up, this sensor and this sensor talk to each other and go, hey, there's an issue with this cat. If you remove the cat, this sensor and this sensor is going to go, there's an issue with the cat, aka it's not there. If you install a high flow cat, this sensor and this sensor are going to go, something's fucked up. 
because it's flowing more than stock. So what do you need to do as a customer mechanically to ensure you don't get PO42430 codes? Well, you have to make sure that this sensor and this sensor see a differential that makes the computer happy. That's all I got to say. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Coyote Shop taking Silverados and mad when I say the third bolt broke as it does on all these trucks when the cats meet the manifolds. Okay. What's up, Amory? Um, that was my car. Thanks, Alex, for the post and Lund for the tune. No Bondo Bird, no cams, but it may be time for them. Yes, leave Cali. The best thing I can tell you is to leave Cali. Why size throttle body does the R2300 come with twin 60? Uh, what shitty is coming in on time to be idled and listen to a guy talk down to his customers and then finally work for me, come in at noon and get the side look, didn't want to pay me either. I don't know what the fuck he just said. What shitty is coming in on time to be idled and listen to a guy talk down to his customers and then finally has work for me, come in at noon and get the side look, didn't want to pay me either. Okay. I don't know. Is he talking about his? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have cats. PO 420, 430 codes. Ford must know it's a 1965 car. I bet he's got more than $100,000 in the hood of that 18 manifold car. <laughs> you know how I know you're under 40 years old? Because you reference Fast and Furious. He probably has spoon engines in Japan. You too, Red Dad. Um, just get the sensor spacers in the rear. Space, the final frontier. Smoke a bong in the low key way of saying it. What did I miss? So, in the emissions era, you guys are doing this. You guys are getting tuned locally and you're going, wow, I have no codes. I got my headers tuned and I got no codes. So a shop convinced you that you needed a tune in order to install headers on your car. So what do they do? They go in with HP tuners and they shut off the rear O2 sensor and they turn off PO42430. And, they, and then you're like, oh my God, I left the shop without a check engine light and my headers are tuned. If by tuned, means turn off codes because you deleted the cats, that's not tuning. That's turning off codes. You could have done that. You could buy HP Tuners Tuner Suite, whatever, editor, and turn off, actually, no, you cannot. Oh, HP Tuners turn, you don't have that option, kiddos. Did you know that? If you had a Pro Racer package or some kind of commercially available software, and you try to go into the O2 section and try to turn off codes that are cat related, you cannot shut them off. So if a shop is doing it for you, they have software that allows them to do it and they'll say, well, you need to tune it to get rid of the codes and for the car to run properly. And I would tell you, then how come the 24 Mustang without any tuning available is running nines with nitrous with open headers? No tuning. P04 2430 codes up the ass. Stop it. Please stop it. Alex, I love the videos. Been watching since the OG whiteboard videos. Why OG whiteboard? That's like recent. Recently, hard to explain to those systems as an apprentice tech. Also own a Fortune GT tuned by Lund. This full trauma dumping? I guess. If I leave, I'll make a $50,000 less. I have it too good financially. David Gonzalez, you don't even understand finances. If you leave, you're, let's say you make $150,000 a year in California and your fucking 2-2 two -two is $690,000. Is that good? And let's say you move to Texas and you lose $50,000 a year, but you can now afford a $350,000 4-3 with two acres in Baytown. Is your money going further in another state? Yes or no? Bro, leave that fucking shithole. I f fuck California, bro, forever. Get the hell out of California. That's your car fix. <clears throat> yep, Smasher Devourer says, new versions of HP tuners doesn't even let you have an option to turn off those codes. EPA made all the tuning companies disable EPA defeat tuning. Hey, Alex, says Rhetoric Fields. I'm getting PO352 ignition code B, PO111 intake air take sensor performance pack bank one. Codes on my GT500. Should I change out the coils and plugs? Do you think it's a bad wire? Thanks. If you're getting a ignition coil code, I can almost tell you which coil it is. PO352 Google machine. Oh, 
Ignition code. Prime. Oh, here we go. So ignition cir secondary circuit malfunction. So it's either a connection issue, a coil issue, or a bad wire in the cylinder number ba -ba -da -da, number two. The PO352 code is typically triggered by a faulty cylinder number two ignition coil damage wiring or connections. You're welcome for Googling the issue and the potential fix. Google everything before asking me or Lund. I had whiteboard content eight years ago. Oh, you're talking about the tuning triangle? Yeah, it's not really serious. Cost of living is less everywhere else. $150,000 a year is like $150,000 a year is like 60K everywhere else. Uh, more than two acres, I agree. Yeah, in Baytown. We got some cases coming up to challenge Chevron that will hopefully fix your EPA ATF overreach rulemaking issues. Contractor 556, put me on game. You will not defeat the EPA. You will not defeat the EPA. Whatever you think you got going on, you will not defeat the EPA or the ATF. Them shits are there for life. Property taxes are more in Texas. Hello, hello. You need to take EPA class to unlock emissions code on HP tuners. Why would you need an emissions class so that then you can disable emissions stuff? That doesn't make sense. Unless it's liability stuff. <clears throat> Would be a Shelby guy asking for Google diagnosis. 2M has what you need for 420, 430 codes. Exactly. Swap cylinder 2-in-1 coil pack. See if the code follows. Stop. I mean, that's common sense. Texas doesn't have income tax. Alex, John Lund answered some questions for me last week in the chat. But what device is needed to tune an 06 GT40? An SETX4. Right? Like an old SETX4. You, I don't think you can do it with an N gauge. And if you can do it with an N gauge, it has to be with a ZT2 package where you have um, wideband data. Um, if you have my lawyer, you can defeat the EPA. It says, Juice Man, I did it. OJ Baytown is hood. I know, Paul H. That's why I said that. EPA is more likely to make you carbon dust than you're likely to reduce their power. So, because we've talked a lot about the DPA, the EPA. Let's um check out. Oh, they don't have it. What did did? I thought they had a. Uh, oh, I I spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. There we, go. we were talking so much about EPA, so I want to make sure that these guys get a nice little shout. So this is EPA's website. Right here. Oh my God, cookies. Um, he's all tatted up. Uh, he's got the Apple Watch, and that's his beautiful wife. Uh, so let's see what cookies they got going on. Uh, thicker than a snicker. Ooh, that's kind of close to certain derogatory terms. Nothing better. Uh, total Flake. Pitch Intense. Uh, Death by Oreo. Uh, oh, they got more. Chocolate Sea Salt. That's the best one. Outrageous. Busting Up. Be Kind. Rewind. Butter Me Up. Uh, rich bitch, eh, what's happening? Big booty butterscotch, banana rammer. Wow. Okay, you guys, why don't you just call one cocksucker? <laughs> just call one sucking dick. <laughs> so guys, check out Don't My God Cookies. Buy some cookies. Just wanted to give you an update on what they got going on on their website. <laughs> Busting up, banana rammer, big dick Johnson. It's like, what's happening? Simpsons tried to warn everyone before Disney took them over. Um, maybe the ACT X3, the X4 is for 08 and up. Could be wrong. Oh, I see what you mean. But SCT, as far as I know, stopped supporting the X3, meaning you can't update the SCT X3. So if you find an SCT X3 and you brick the computer, you're fucked. So I don't know. I, I think those cars are fucking SOL. Shit out of luck unless you... Unless you can MC, uh, uh, what is that? Unless you can like tune it with like old PT Diag stuff, which is like exporting to weird stuff. You have to have like access to special stuff to access that stuff. Contractor 556 says, not me personally, but there's a case going to the Supreme Court. The closest we have gotten to it to getting it overturned. Their use of Chevron deference along with ATF use is why they can make up rules. Contractor, can you just send me a link? To see what you're talking about? Because I can talk about that. 
Um, EPA is coming for Louisiana plants. I hope it doesn't stick. That That's our entire economy. EPA fined WC Fab a little over $250,000 they settled in court. They make turbo swap stuff for diesels. EPA sucks. Contractor 556 again says, I'm not saying EPA and ATF will go away, but there's a threat to their rule making abilities to go to Supreme Court. Send me a link to the case you feel can make that happen. No Diddy Cookie. Jamie E says, have you personally ever tuned a Ford GT? No. Senior has though. Always thought an all mechanical build would be unique. Um, so it won't be all mechanical second shift racing. Ignition control and logging. If you're going to make a seven second car, carbureted blow through, you need data. You need a lot of data. You need wideband data. You'd be crazy not to have wideband data. You need... You need spark, adjustable spark curves. You need um, maybe live logging to see where the data logger likes, where where the spark is liked, you know, dialing it in. You can lock it like an old distributor, but then drivability goes to shit. You don't want to put a blow through carburetor in a Coyote and then have it drive like absolute butt cheeks. But except for what? My Fox drove okay. And you'll see once Second Shift Racing gets a hold of that Fox, once they start driving it after they fix a head gasket, you'll see it's a little choppy under 2,000 RPMs. And it, it smooths out once you live above 3,000 RPMs. But that's something that I, I don't think I want in a Coyote setup. Coyote setups have to be generally pretty smooth and make good power at wide open throttle. So I need like an MS3. I know FuelTech makes stuff for that application. When I typed in... Uh, blow through carb tuning, fuel tech popped up and they make a, you know, spark control and analoging or logging device. And I would use that probably for the spark side or an MS3 or because I saw the grid six and it looks like a fucking nightmare. I saw the mod box and it looks like a wiring nightmare. And if I could have a not plug and play, but a solution that has good, fast data that I can analog in drive shaft speed, converter charge pressure, and, and you know, all that stuff, I'd probably uh, aim towards that. Who knows? Fingers crossed. This guy, this guy just, if you don't know the case, if contractor, if you can't link me to the exact case you're talking about that you claim could hinder EPA and ATS rule making, then why'd you even comment? Um, da -da -da -da. Cassius Rudder says, all you need is an MSD grid. No, thank you. I saw how it works and I'm not a fan. I don't like what it looks like. I don't like the interface. I don't like it. I don't like it. Sorry. Salmon Mackey says, Alex, will a centrifugal blower be more forgiving to my stock manual transmission because of its lower torque compared to positive displacement blowers on turbochargers? Absolutely. Salmon, just depends on how hard you're pushing the setup. No. Compared to positive displacement? Absolutely. B, TMU says, advanced parameter training course ensures that all HP tuner software users are educated and committed to the emissions laws impacting vehicle tuning. So why do they open up emissions codes after taking the class? Why not keep it grayed out for everybody? Uh, for instance, the Supreme Court ruled that income taxes are unconstitutional, so the government made the 16th Amendment to tax the people more. If there's money to, to the government, they'll trade and get some. Okay, whatever. ATF has lately been getting its ass kicked in the court system. Doesn't matter. Knox is just tied into the ignition, so it can pull timing. Exactly. Israel said, Herd Murder Nova is a fuel tech dealer. Hit him up. He can guide you the right direction. No, so the guy I talked to, IRD, he's a fuel tech dealer. And I asked him, um, he goes, I've had my hands on everything. I've had my hands on MSD grid. I've had my hands on this, that. He goes, after it's all said and done, this was best for me. And I could be swayed one way or the other, but if I can get a good standalone logging, because it's spark control and logging, boost and fuel is going to be done by mechanical shit. HP Tuners supports 0506 4GT. Yeah, but it's HP Tuners. Um, it gave you an... Uh, a, I gave you a I gave you a like I'll watch later. Gotcha. Cash says if you don't like the grid, you can always use Holly. I will never use a Holly product. I repeat, Cash's rudder. I will never in my fucking life use a Holly fucking product in my personal vehicles. Meaning for tuning software. Too rash. No thank you. 
junk shit. Oh, I go six is cool. Let's hear that fucker start. Alec Bledsoe's right there. What's wrong with Holly? <laughs> I'm like, I don't like it. I saw, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Hey, what's the best fuel pump for uh, Gen 1 Coyote with a Paxton and Luntune Beefcake Racing? Okay, that... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. What a question. <laughs> Fuck me. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, a lot of your questions are fucking retarded. Let me know what you need. I work. Native Shift says, let me know what you need. I work for Fuel Tech. I work a Fuel Tech or you work for Fuel Tech? You work for Fuel Tech, Native Shift. Hey, Native Shift, email the kid. And no, I'm not looking for sponsorship. I'm just going to tell you what I need. You can tell me what product to buy. And we'll go from there. But I know that the guy, if you work for Fuel Tech, I don't mind going right to the source. But I also don't want to fuck people. You know, like this guy offered me a product and if i can get it all one stop shop cool but if you can give me a break whatever but you know i, I also want to support the people that are making the car combo work and again i'm a year away from this thing even lighting off we don't talk about murder nova he learns the bang head on wall method and i feel so bad honestly i'm gonna be honest with you murder nova sean whatever his name is he seems like a nice guy I tried to help him genuinely. Hey, man, you might not want to lock the cams. Nah, nah, nah. And he just came at me sideways like, Swear! all right, fuck, fine. Go bang your hand off the fucking wall. I have it on three and it makes power. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Oh, uh, no, good, bro. Don't ask that question. <laughs> I'll supply a fuel tech free for charge if you let me diddle diddy you, says Andrew Newton. He should have stopped that lunch tune. <laughs> He really said cheeseburger racing. Smasher, nice quote. Jason Atkins says, I haven't seen the Wall Live. Wow. Saw the Crod Miller apparent Lou. <laughs> Jason, take and take an aspirin right now. Go to the <laughs> go to the to the medicine cabinet. Take an aspirin right now. You are having a stroke. So let me <laughs> remember that scene from the jerk where she leaves him a note and he's like trying to read. Oh, so, so, okay. So the movie, the jerk is about a guy who's obviously retarded, um, hits it big when he invents a thing to put, uh, a hook to put on his glasses so that they stop falling off. And the hook lands on your nose later on. He got sued cause everyone went cross. eyed. <laughs> oh, so the jerk, the jerk, jerk bathroom, scene so he gets rich before he gets sued he gets rich and he uh he there's a girl that uh let's see, there you go the jerk the jerk bathroom scene <laughs> i'm old the jerk is a great movie the jerk, jerk, jerk is what uh reading reading letter there it is so the so he's with this girl and you know they're in love or whatever and she just has to dump him because he's obviously retarded so she leaves him a note and the dog brings him the note. But unfortunately, he's in the tub and he's he's going to read the letter. And he's like, dear. <laughs> it's like the best scene in the movie. And I laugh every fucking time I see it. Oh, his dog name is Shithead. <laughs> dear. Dear. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I see that scene, I fucking lose it. So again, I'm going to try to read what Homeboy said because I think he needs an aspirin right now. Haven't seen the world live. Saw where Trod Miller apparent Lou. Oh, this is a serious comment. Jesus, Jason Adkins, you couldn't have picked a worse comment to be serious in. My God. So Chris, Chris's Miller, oh wait, uh, one of the Miller brothers passed away. A staple of the Maryland uh, International Raceway, Miller Brothers, Miller Brothers Productions, guys that do badass prep and put on some of the best racing on the planet. Uh, one, of the, one of them passed away. My condolences to some of the, the nicest, best people 
seem to just fucking go. And there are pieces of shit on this planet sucking in my air. And I'm like, why can't they fucking die? You know? So condolences. I mean, we had, um, uh, why, uh, we had a guy from the West coast pass away. Then we had a Miller brother die and it's awful, awful here. But, but my God, what a terrible one to actually like spell like shit. Sullivan's has coyote specific intake for 4150, 4160 flange for 800 bucks. It's blow through carb time. And verga larga. Let's go to Sullivan performance 5.4. Sullivan performance 5.4 carb 4150 flange. I want a 4150 flange carburetor. Uh, that are Sullivan performance products. Intake. Uh, let's go to intake, intake, intake. Boom, boom, boom. Here it is. Uh, is this Sullivan? Where's Sullivan? Here it is. So this is what I'll be getting. This is what the other guy that had the Coyote uh, did. It's 800 bucks. A single, what the fuck? So single overhead cam. And I have to redo this. So what I probably do is buy this and send this off to have it um, reworked so that it fits Coyote bolt pattern nicely. So that's probably what I'll do. Buy it, send it off to someone that knows what the fuck they're doing. Weld up, weld it up and make it fit a Coyote um, uh, head bolt pattern and be good to go. What about OJ? Where does he fall? Come on, stop it. Chris Miller meet, met me one morning. Chris Miller meet, met me one morning. And well, y'all, here we are. It says, Juice Man, I did it. Oh, my God. Stop it, OJ. My God. Jason needs to put his phone down and call 911 ASAP. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, we had the dead dad, too. <laughs> the dead dad in the trunk. I don't even know if that was real. I don't even know if that was a troll. But it... It worked out for the purposes of the show. Jason, speaking that P51 math signal, what's your email? Native shift, YDBT for life at gmail.com, YDBT for life at gmail. If I can save some money, I'll save some money. But I don't want that sponsorship shit because I don't want y'all being, well, we sponsor. This is what I don't want from Fuel Tech. If I run a number, I don't want y'all going, Fuel Tech sponsored Alex. Did you see that? <laughs> I'm going to piss off with some people right here. So, <laughs> I think Motion Raceworks, their plan is to give everybody something that races. So, in the event that that person wins something, they can say, Motion Raceworks, again! <laughs> he bought a catch can, dude. Fucking relax. He can vent that shit out the window and do the same thing. But, I get it. I get it as a business model, but... Don't you guys know, thank you, Native Ship, you guys know that when you see a guy win something, it had almost nothing to do. If you're talented, you can go A to B with Chinese parts. Ask on three. If you're, if you're like, if the car was built completely by Motion Raceworks, I would understand. But if they give you like a fitting at an event <laughs> and they give you a sticker and you won that event, and then they put on the social media page. Duh! Fucking motion respect to clip TBM breaks. I just sit there and go. Huh. <laughs> like, I'm just I'm just sick and tired of the racing community. It's just so full of fucking shit. Mr. Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jams. You still with that girl? You still with that blonde chick? What are you deadlifting nowadays? I heard Sean call Junior, and Junior said he liked watching the phone ring. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way <laughs> could you imagine juniors there and it says 187 customs and you're like <laughs> i'm gonna let this ring all the way out i'm gonna set my fucking uh answering service to come on after 16 rings that means homeboy has to hear 16 rings and then leave me a message oh my god uh starkey's wife boyfriend says i know someone who will sponsor you <laughs> i love it i love the the fuckery that happens on the show couldn't have won without my motion raceworks parachute mount Get pedo, tío. I'm break. Catching the live, said Edgar. I seen an ad a week or two ago with the red car named, I think it was FIC. Hi, Alex. I get P2098 Catalyst 2 Lean Bank 2. I have no exhaust leak. What else could be? I checked while well, I check input. Probably a bad O2 sensor on that code. 
Every time a Whipple car wins a race, you can hear the gong in the distance. Do, do I have China here? Do I have China? Let me look. Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I don't think I have China. Taco, taco. What's two tacos? I don't know. It says two tacos here. It says 80s dick. What's, I don't know what 80s dick is. Uh, the guy too high. And I don't have China here. Man screaming, diaper sponsored, fail horn, last V8. We all know where the last V8 left. We were never the fastest. <laughs> and Dodge pushed our shit in all the way out of our mouths, which we actually <laughs> liked because we're gay. I thought I had a China clip here that made like a gong noise every time Whipple would win a, like a Whipple powered car would win an event. What's a nice spoiler? They look good and not produce too much drag, slowing you down to Mexico. Lifestyle, do me a favor. This show's not for you. This show is 100% not for you. Um, you should absolutely go anywhere else to watch uh, Mustang content. This show is not for you. See you and raise you five, Mr. Jimmy. That funny DM I sent you about the guy blaming Lund for fucking up a simple E85 cold air intake tune. Straight clownery says S-D-A-S-A-S-D-A-D. So someone sent someone said that Lund fucked up and cold air intake tune and they, they, they and, and it's always the it's always on the customer's end i wish i could show you a picture of what i saw today i saw a order come in that made no sense i it said gen one whipple car 150 millimeter cold air 150 millimeter throttle body i go uh oh gen one with a front feed whipple with a 150 millimeter and then he says 150 millimeter cold air and i go no that doesn't exist so then i'm like can i see a picture of your engine bay and he sends me a picture of his engine bay take a wild guess what's next to the collapsed air filter take the wildest guess what is in front of the math housing next to a collapsed air filter i would give you you will never guess. Actually, I need the picture. I, you know what? I'm going to zoom in so he doesn't know it's him. I'm going to find the picture. Dude, I will give you whoever gets, whoever guesses what's in front of the cold air before I show the photo, I'll, I'll PayPal you 50 bucks. No fucking way you'll ever guess it. I mean, let me find it. Uh, go ahead. Just, just name stuff. <laughs> oh my Lord. So this is why I asked for pictures of the engine base. Save as. Okay. Guys, I saw this and I lost my fucking mind. I go, this is why most people won't believe the shit we do. They think that we're, we complain too much. Da 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 da. If you guys can actually guess what it was, I'll send you 50 bucks. And it can't be a Lund Racing employee because you guys know. Uh, five Alex. Okay. Keep going. Keep guessing because trust me, you won't get it. Bird's Nest. Okay. I, 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 let, let me go to Gmail and find the, the thing. Because I'm trying to see what's going on in this engine bay because I'm like, bro, I love you. I, I just don't think that's, uh, I just, just don't think that's right. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, email. Oh, I didn't send the email. Stupid. Yes, yeah, send it. Send it without anything. Oh, thank you, James Lake, for uh, becoming a Patreon subscriber. Thank you so much. That's very nice of you. I mean, I mentioned Dome I Got Cookie, so I guess I guess that's payment. Okay, are you guys ready? So let me look at the guesses. Okay. Okay, let me look at the let me look let, let's look at the guesses together. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um here we go. Someone said a fan, wait, wait, a fan, a fart, a fart. Then he said a fan, um, a vape, boogers, a battery, HVAC piping, tampon, condom, trumpet, radiator, 15 foot of line, <laughs> a vape, PVP pipe from Rymer, a dead animal. What's the best oil? Beer can, dryer, vent tube, trumpet, dangling map, vented catch can, cardboard. Sock, dildo, bottle, duct tape, silicone coupler, coffee can, plywood, my glove. Uh, pressure regulator, JLT logo, <laughs> uh, 
bucket, Gatorade bottle, wood, AutoZone cone, Gore-Tex chain thing, ch- chimney rags, butt plug, uh, a motherfucking electric turbo, pillow, towel, Bustello can, rolled fuel line, traffic cone, resonated deleter, elephant dig, Folgers, a hydraulic hose, DMAS, water culvert, whatever that is, uh, battery, what's a water culvert, uh, catch can, DMAS tip, nope, this is what he got, let me see if I, okay, let me, uh, the, the, no, no, no one guesses, so no one's getting 50 bucks. Here it is, guys. I zoomed it in. A thermos. <laughs> I said, is that, is that a thermos? Because, you know, when that hits, it'll rattle, it'll knock sensors. Or, you know, if like metal on metal contact with the cold air intake. He said that was a 150 millimeter Whipple cold air intake. And I'm like, no, that looks like 90 millimeter Steeda, 90 millimeter, and a thermos, a thermos. That's right, a thermos. So when we ask for pictures of your engine bay, there's a reason we do it, so that we are not dealing with a thermos in front of the cold air. You guys think I'm fucking around when I make fun of the stuff that I do on this chat? You guys think I am lying? A thermos. In front of a metal cold air intake. I, I'm just, someone said, I said on t- octanium can. <laughs> Water cooled. Catch can, not catching. Hits his ice tank. That looks like an eBay intake. Damn, that was not on my bingo card. 150 millimeter thermos. Yeti intake. But Alex, it has a motion sticker on it. <laughs> motion again! Today, we'd like to congratulate Jeremiah Camp. <laughs> He won the Z class in streetcar, and he has one motion rakes uh, TBM pad, TBM and crypto. Ninety-nine point nine of the car is like shit he bought, you know, on his own. And he got one one part, and that manufacturer goes like Precision does that, right? Doesn't Precision do that? Like Precision goes to all the cars to see what turbos they got. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Precision t- powered. <laughs> I hate it. I love that. I don't like to be. I don't want to be sponsored by nobody. I don't want anybody shouting me out. Alex. Nah, fuck you. Like I paid for this part. Unless you built the car for me. And then you can take credit for it. High performance Thermice 1.21 gigawatts. Link below for the Coyote intake. No need to modify the 5.4 intake. Where? Where? Elver Galarga. Link below for the Coyote intake. No need to modify the 5.4 intake. Elver. Elverga Larga. Where? El- Elverga Larga. Just email me. Elverga Larga. Email me the link for a direct fit 4150 carb flange Coyote deal. Like, no modifying needed? Stop it. Show me where that is. How long until VMP receives their carb certified tuning? Not going to happen. What do you mean the carb? What are you talking about? What carb certified tuning? They can't tune. It's it, it unless unless they have a deal with Whipple, which does not sound like it is. It seems like it's just a Whipple dealership partnership. It would be crazy to me if Whipple allowed manipulation of their calibration through the tomahawk to be manipulated by anybody else because then in my opinion not carb not carb legal anymore bye see ya um torque storm a stanley equipped um they need to change over to turvy tuning with that boom alex is gonna get sponsored by holly efi intake manifolds i've only been here a short time but i have to say alex you're a hoot i love it thank you don hill look um if you think this is how i am in real life you're sadly mistaken I'm like quiet and nice and shit. But you have to be entertaining and have a personality when you want to be. You you don't want to tune in to see a guy be vanilla. You want to see a guy talk some shit. That's what I do. He should have at least got the Amory tumbler to put under the hood. It was on the bottom of the page when you put it on the screen. Thank you very much. Where is it? Damn it. Sullivan. Let's see. Sullivan. Okay, let's go. Let's go again. Okay, let's go to the page. Let's go. Where? 5.0 liter dual overhead cam coyote carbureted 
intake manifold? What? Y'all have it? This is our single plane intake manifold developed for all versions of the 5.0 liter dual overhead cam engine. The intake manifold features blah, blah, blah. Guess what? Add to cart. Let's go. I'll proceed to check out later. Thank you very much. Sullivan, you will be getting my money tonight. Love that shit. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Add it to cart. Nice. I don't have to modify shit. Beautiful. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What CFM carb are you going to think of the Fairmont? It looks to be a 750 dual needle seat thing <clears throat> with a big shaft. According to him, no problem. Supporting uh, 1,200 plus horsepower and then some. Seen a VMP short earlier, Whipple 24 making mid-800. Michael Locke, stop it. Michael, we covered that. We covered that shit live. We covered it that day. Michael Locks, we covered it. That was probably two months ago. We made fun of the lid. Guys, we, we had such a hoot during that fuck. Come on, Michael Locks, go back. Go back. Go back. We covered that. Come here, baby. Let me give you some manipulation of your calibration. This is Lifestyle 2.0. <clears throat> Alex, change your chat filter. Why? Why should no? Why 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 should I change my chat? <laughs> Change your chat filter. Um, I got into a dispute by a certificate supercharger causing um, knock. Sensors to pull timing at RPM. I told the asshole I ship between five... Okay, I got into a dispute about centrifugal supercharger causing knock sensors to pull timing at higher RPM. I told the asshole I ship between 5 and 6K from 1st to 4th to avoid that. He said it's tune related. Um, well, who did you get into a dispute with, Savar? Because... It's not necessarily high RPM. I'm sorry. It's resonance. So when you're shifting firmly, regardless of the RPM, you have a centrifugal supercharger hanging off the front of the engine, right? So if it's hanging off the front or the side like a pro charger, that bracketry causes resonance. Now, ESS has slightly better bracketry, but it still causes resonance. And that resonance can be picked up by the knock sensors as like a knock event and it pulls timing. So I don't think it's RPM specific. You know what I'm saying? Not, not a, it tech tip. It kind of is a 750 double pumper smiles, but it is a blow through setup. Um, Alex talk shit to back it up. I, I'd like to think so. What's that back three numbers on your card, right? I try to help those who help others. Love you, Alex. Thank you. El Verga Larga. Latest Patreon member. Thank you, one of one RTR. Look, guys, that is the best way to support not only the channel because the channel's making money through ad revenue and the guys that have the old school logos, the Holly Haram, the Street Fighter logo, the, the, um, the Butters one, um, and I think there's a, the Pregnant Man one. So obviously you don't want to lose that. But if you want to support it in other ways, Patreon is the way. And you have access to the other members. And you guys can coordinate. You guys can touch tips. You can do whatever. It's like a private server of people that are part of this community specifically. Starkey's wife's boyfriend says, is it a double pumper? Reminds me of someone. <laughs> Any big plans to celebrate when you hit 70,000 subs? I'm not there yet. Um, What should I do if I hit 70,000 subs? What should I do if I... Hit 70,000 subs. I think 100,000 is cool. 70,000 is me. A young guy with a Civic in his driveway got it. Weird vibrations do cause knock sensor issues and sometimes will throw codes. Change your chat filter from top to messages to all messages. You're missing the chat. The people are replying to you. Uh, it's live now. Um, contractor says, I don't know if those links showed up. I sent three. Here's the case. Relentless Inc. Department of Commerce. Oh, I don't. Contractor, did you send me something? Let me, let's go to contractor. I wish I could just click your name and it shows all of your chats. But are you sending them through uh, email? Let me see. Gmail. Let's, let, me, let me see. If you're sending them through email, I'll, I'll, I'll check that and I'll report on it later to see what case you're referencing about the EPA being defanged. Charlie Banks, hit me up. Hey, Alex, I'm the, I'm the guy from... And let me know what stuff you need. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, okay I'll reply to him later because I don't want to do it during the middle of the show. Where's the lunchbox? Uh, Tim, you intake to keep cold. Oh, wow. The, this guy's, this is way old, way old, way old. 
Um, would you feel pretty safe with an ESS kit on a 17 GT350? Yeah, at about 9 to 10 PSI, no problem. Might as well start a YDBT Discord server. You know what? Never mind. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, can they dock each other? Bring back Shelby Dave, uh, pregnant man here. Desensitize your knock sensors. Be a real man. Give away a signed photo of your calves. Come out. <laughs> he says, come out. He means make sure your chat is set to all instead of top chat. It's set to live chat. Guys, it's set to live chat. I love you guys. <coughs> right here, live chat. And if I go to fan funding, it'll have the, see? So that those are the paid chats. Right there. Actually, that's pretty good that all the paid chat showed up. Thanks for all the knowledge of the show. Alex answered my dumb questions almost instantly on Patreon. You have questions for Bill. That, that's the way to talk to him. JD Swag, thank you very much. Latest Patreon member, CU and Radio 5, and we got these. So these are the fan funded, but I had it on this right here, live chat. So maybe I'm not getting to all of them, guys, because it is pretty difficult to get to every single, every single comment because the chat flies by. I'm not being defanged, says the EPA. Cat picks for 70k. Pro tip everyone, if you send a link in chat, you're not and you're not a mod, it'll be auto-deleted by YouTube. There you go. By the way, I think man screaming is needed anymore. We have Meek and Diddy now. Wait, do I have man screaming? You're right. So he says that man screaming should be deleted because we have Okay, but because because we have Diddy getting ranked. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I kind of like this one. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like both. I don't know, man. I just, you know, Meek Mill has some of the hardest rap songs out there. And then he's on the receiving end of that, of that clap fest. And it just makes you question everything. You should peek it back stream, Twitch, and OnlyFans. You should, you know, EP backwards is ape. <laughs> oh, Starkey's wife boyfriend says for Starkey's wife's boyfriend says for seventy thousand you should data log your car going into a ditch. <laughs> ah, fuck. That's really good. Uh, that's really good. Not to butt. Love these 8 p.m. shows. Thanks for the knowledge. You got it, buffet lifestyle. Bring back the stupid sound clip. I don't have stupid. I can't believe I got rid of stupid. Two tacos. Chew gum. Chew gum. Asian. Of course, the Peasant Chat YouTube channel and Circle D Converters. <laughs> Shit. Okay, okay, I got get the fuck out. Hey, get the fuck out of here because I'm I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay, right let's go to some of the stuff that I, I need to get rid of. So, oh yeah, heavy duty, heavy duty. Heavy duty. Ah, oh, this smells like jelly beans. Oh, wait a minute, I can do a mix right here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, this smells oh, like jelly beans. Oh, oh, this smells oh, like oh, jelly beans. Oh, 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 this is like jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, Jelly. Oh, shit. It's over. Nothing is over. Oh. Nothing. You just don't turn it off. Where do you go from here, Mike? I don't know, man. I might just fade into Bolivia. You know, <laughs> and, um, I don't have nowhere to go and nothing to do. You know what I mean? I just go fly my pigeons on the roof. And, you know, <laughs> oh, we suck again. That's home. Hey, 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 hey. Don't rub on that. You blocked that. You understand? That's alpaca. That's $25,000 alpaca. You block that shit. You don't rubble. Put the club soda on there. <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. Oh, you got that. My nigga. <laughs> of course, the... I got that. Well, time to take credit for vehicles I never had anything to do with. Where's my chewing gum? <laughs> <It's a> <laughs> Where's the Diddy one? Where? Listen to the end of this 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 fart. Like <laughs> literally cheeks are clapping. <laughs> Fuck. 
Ok. Pero pinche 956 a la verga. Oh, oh. No, you're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Man, I could go for tall glass of Mexican dick right now. <laughs> Take this out, fool. Okay, you're coming that? a little too high. Oh, no, cool. no, no, no. What a classic. I forgot about that. Take this out, fool. Okay, you're coming that? a little too high. No, 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 no. Cool. Okay. This day. To this day. I'm going to go through all of them. To this day. We have an MBRP resonator deleter. <laughs> Your username on TikTok was Four Doors More Whores. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is Diddy and the uh, uh, Meek. <laughs> okay. We'll do it live. Okay, got that. I don't know why I had that in there. Uh, <laughs> Again? Look what I got fucking go around with. Fucking diapers, man. I got fucking diapers. I shit my pants every day. I, I can't, can't walk. walk. I, I can't, can't hump. You know? you know? And then he says, then go ahead and kill me, cocksucker. Oh, that's that, that was supposed to be for the uh, channel sponsors. Here at Ford, we're in a van. Yeah, I thing. wish I was alive when, when the shitster was invented. I'd have never gotten out of my car to blow your dad in the weeds. <laughs> Okay, so we got those. I like the fuck a man. Why you Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I got those. Okay. Alright, good, good, good. No, no. Ain't no regular F150. This a fucking raptor. Someone asked about a raptor uh, earlier. Jesus. I ain't okay. got no motherfucker. Uh, the aborting song. The nice thing about the aborting song is no copyright. Badass beat. Kill the lyrics. Come on. I'm B D F nigga, baby, daddy free. That me, I ain't got a nigga, baby, coming out of me. So I'm A B O R T I N G on my way to the clinic. I forgot the plan B. Let's go. Oh, that's another Hellcat song. Now one motherfucker. You gotta make a shirt. Take that, Elon Musk. Uh, go fuck yourself. That's him. Any artists out there want to be an artist? That one was Sugar was making fun. Sugar was making fun of uh, Puff Daddy. What a prophetic. Any artists out there want to be an artist and want to stay a star? And don't want to. Don't want to have to worry about the executive producer trying to be all in the videos, all on the record, all on the record, dancing, dancing, Woo! coming death row. Woo! Okay. Uh, you talk like a fag, and your shit's all retarded. Nothing can stop me. My bitch always all the way up. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh. I love Ryan Martin. He got the best of everything. I know that I could beat him on the street because I'm most street up. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I just wanted to play the clips to know what the fuck I got going on there. Just wanted to stay there and just hit soundboard clips all day. So you guys are kind of like, you know, take a trip back into memory lane. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you very much for hanging out with me all the way through. We had 500 people watching. That's awesome for a Thursday. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you want to get on the Patreon stuff, get over there. 15 bucks a month. You have access to me. You have access to all the people via the chats. I make chats about twice a week just to get you know, content going, you guys, you know, touching tips. There's a introduction thread. You can go in there and say hello, hello to the people, upload pictures of your car, and you can network with like-minded people, and it's a good time. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys on Peasant Chat Sunday night, 8 p.m. We're going to talk some shit to the peasants. I got to sell the car, so I'm going to um, get rid of the knots, do a video on that. Hopefully, the guys doesn't mind being videoed. I'll say goodbye to it properly. It, it actually... Did exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted to show that small block forge and carburetor stuff is pretty relevant. And it did that. So now it'll give me motivation to get the Fairmont rolling sooner than later. Anyway, enough of that. I'll see you guys on Sunday night.